Thank you so much for tuning in to part two of Gossip Meets Couture. As we promised, the star-studded show, Lee's going to tell us who she ran into next. Yes, I ran into a huge actor, Chaz Palminteri. You might know him from Usual Suspects. Uh, he was in Analyze This. He actually wrote part of the Bronx Tale, and he was in it as well. Oh, wow. So he's a huge actor, and he was actually at the event, and we got the chance to talk to him. Mm -hmm. Also, we got a treat. His son was playing with his band, Camus. Right. And I'm telling you, watch out, Justin Bieber. The next <laughs> teen sensation, they were really great, really wow. great. Wow, my gosh, amazing. So why don't we take a look at those. In we have a little bit of the performance, and then we'll okay. show you the interviews. Great. Thanks. Beyond the number. the band came is with us why don't you guys introduce yourselves Evan I'm Dante Palmateri I'm David I do guitars and um, can you guys tell us about how long you guys been performing together uh, we've been performing and playing together for about three and a half to four years and we have our manager and producer Justin Gill who's been amazing he's helped us with everything we've done Oh, that's great. So, and do you have any upcoming gigs that you can tell everyone about? Uh, yeah, we have a gig um, July 4th at some festival in, um, I think, in Westchester County. Right, thank you so much. Is there anywhere that you have a website or anywhere that people can find your music? We have a, a Facebook. You could look up Dante Palminteri, Evan Schwartzman, or David Batten. Or you could look up Camus, and there'll be a picture of us. There's two. And it's the one, it's a picture of us, and just, that's where you find us. Okay, sounds great. Thank you so much for letting us do this interview. Thank you. Chaz Palminteri with us, a renowned actor. Uh, why don't you tell us what brings you to Fran Drescher's event? We just saw his son perform. He was amazing. Well, obviously, uh, the, for, the main thing is, you know, cancer schmancer. That's uh, obviously a, a good thing to support. And my son, Dante, uh, and his band, Camus, are appearing here. So I brought my son and my wife and my daughter. We're watching, we were watching him perform. Thank you so much for coming on the show and giving us this opportunity to interview you. We really appreciate it. It's my pleasure, and uh, everyone, if you can support the fight against cancer, do it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Chaz and Camus. I mean, we really appreciate it, and we can't wait to get Camus' first autograph CD. Yes, definitely. <laughs> So, Lee, were there any, um, you know, fashion people there, stylists, anything like that? Did you get to run Yes, into actually that? I did. Phil, I ran into Philip Locke. He's a huge stylist. He styles so many celebrities, and it was just such an honor to talk to him. So why don't we take a look at that interview? Yes. I'm Philip Locke, and you're watching Gossip Meets Couture. Okay, we have Philip Locke with us, one of the biggest stylists. Can you tell us some of your clients? Oh my gosh, well, Fran Drescher for one, that's a pretty good one to start with. And, you know, everybody from, I've worked with everyone from Halle Berry to Selma Hayek, Jim Carrey, Charlie Sheen, Pierce Brosnan, the world, Michael Jackson, may he rest in peace. And uh, what brings you to Fran Drescher's event tonight? Today? Well, Fran and I have been friends for years, and my mother passed away from breast cancer years ago, so I'm a... Uh, a big follower and a fan of the work that Fran does with Cancer Schmancer, and you know we need more people like Fran out there actually blowing the whistle. You know. Yes. Thank you so much for doing this interview. We really appreciate my it. Pleasure, my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much, Philip, for coming on our show and letting us do this interview. It was such a pleasure to meet you. We all watched The Housewives. I mean, they've they've gone from you know New York, Orange County, Miami. Um, what? Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. Yeah. I mean, I know us women, we all want to be a housewife, but we all love the New York girls. And actually, Lee is going to have a special announcement for us as to who she got to meet. Yes. Uh, the first person I met was Alex with her husband, Simon. And let me tell you, she was so nice. Like, wow. Down to earth. You know, she came, she did the interview. Mm -hmm. She, you know, she explained a little bit about why she supports Cancer Spencer, which okay. we'll show you a little bit about that. Great. So, and then we had the opportunity to meet Luann. 
And I let me tell her. you, she's my favorite. I know, I love her. She's, and she's so beautiful in wow. person. Like, okay. flawless. Like, you really, like, she actually looks so much better in person. Even oh. she looks so beautiful on TV, but also. Yeah, and they say the camera helps. Yeah, but it, the <laughs> truth is, in person, she looks even better. So this is Simon. And Alex from the Real Housewives of New York, New York City. City. And you're watching... Gossip Meets Couture. Okay, hi. We have Alex and Simon from the Real Housewives of New York with us. Why don't you tell us what brings you to Fran Drescher's event? Um, we're here today because we really think that Fran's mission, which is all about early detection, is a great one. Um, as she says, that 90% of cancers caught in stage one can be curable. And we've seen that happen with members of our family, right, Simon? Yeah, I mean, both my first wife is now a 17 year survivor with cancer, my sister now at five years. And in both cases, early detection was key. You know, it's one thing, yes, the drugs are wonderful and so on, but, but if you don't catch it early enough, nothing is going to solve it, really. Yeah. And also, can we expect anything from the Real Housewives of New York coming up? Well, of course, there's always drama. We're in the middle of the season, and there's plenty more drama to come. I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah, look, I mean, I don't know, there's about another six or seven episodes to go. And from what we have heard and what we've seen, uh, the, what happened in Morocco is just a taste of what's to come. Yes. So the viewers need to watch and find out, but it's going to be quite a dramatic ending to the season, I think. Can't wait to see it, definitely. Okay, we have Luann from The Real Housewives of New York. Can you tell us what, what brings you to this event today? Hi, Gossip Meets Couture. I just love the name. Um, well, I mean, I love Fran, first of all. I think she's hysterical and she's funny. And uh, and I think she's doing a great thing by raising awareness and money uh, for children with cancer. So I'm really happy to be here and support it. And it's a lot of fun. Definitely. And can we get any secrets that's coming up on The Real Housewives? Oh, everybody wants the scoop on The Real Housewives. Well, you know, there's still a lot of drama going on after Morocco. Ooh, that camel ride was something, honey. Oh, anyway, um, I'm going to be singing again this season. I have a new dance single coming out, Chic C'est La Vie. It'll be out the end of this month, uh, the end of June. And um, and I'm also singing with a major icon in the music business. Can't tell you. Can't tell you who that is, but you will see. Oh, we can't wait to see. Thank you so much for doing this interview. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go and jump in the bouncy castle. Thank you so much again for everybody being on our show, letting you know Lee come out and interview you guys. We really appreciate it. We will have better things yet to come. And remember, don't let the gossip wear your couture.